How did it come to this? No one asks the question anymore. By the 22nd century, global climate change was irreversible. In the United States, efforts to deform the terrain to protect its shores were successful. But the Midwest became a wasteland. We were still one country, but increasingly divided. The people of the East and the West sought two distinct paths of evolution. Our definition of what it meant to be human changed, and along with it, what it meant to be an American. Tensions rose, nations chose sides, and people stopped asking, how did it come to this? How could it not? Crisis in the West, day two. It's official. The president has signed the Defense of Humanity Act, which designates substantial human genetic alteration a federal offense. In a dramatic response, leaders from the Western states have announced their secession, making threats from their new capital of San Francisco. General Sheridan, the self-appointed military commander of the so-called Republic of Pacifica, had this to say. We will be second-class citizens no longer. Genetic modification saves lives, making mankind stronger, better. You can't stand in the way of progress. The president assures the American people as well as our economic partners in the Atlantic Alliance that steps are being taken at this moment to confront Sheridan, who the president says is a dangerous threat and must be captured at all costs. Same old Lawrence. Always looking over my shoulder. Get serious. The Mercury's at full boil. Sheridan planted a stake. The Pacificans are mounting up. We're cleared to recon a downed freighter at Alcatraz that may hold some answers to his plans. Understood. What are we expecting? Anything and everything. We're going in guns hot, but our primary objective is investigation. That freighter had no identification, but tracked to a Pacifican supply house in Kyoto. You can bet that if we know about it, Sheridan has already sent a cleanup team. There's a few toys in your new suit. Let me give you a quick brief. Take a look at your heads-up display. In the upper right corner is your weapon and grenade selection and how much ammo you have of each. Bottom right is your motion detector. Red dots are enemies, green are friendlies. That's pretty standard. HQ, patch AUG Protect Alpha to Soldier 113. Jet, your first augmentation upgrade is an enhanced overbody shield. You'll get more of these upgrades as needed. The marker on the bottom of your HUD shows how much juice you've got. If you get in trouble, just find some cover and let your shields recharge. HQ, patch AUG Entrench Alpha to Soldier 113. Okay, your first entrencher augmentation is live. This meter shows your entrencher's power. You'll need to let it recharge after steady use. The small arrows show where the terrain can move up, down, or both. Look around for some open ground. The entrencher only works on dirt. Use it to raise the terrain. Nice. Now, use the entrencher to lower the terrain. Good work. Satellite's picking up the down freighter up ahead. Make your way to the clearing and investigate. Along the way, let's keep calibrating your equipment. Colonel, the path is blocked. Brody, use your entrencher to dig under. Uh, this wall is too tall to jump over. Make yourself a ramp with the entrencher. Satellite pictures show containers scattered in the area. Find them and identify their contents. Mark, these are subsonic grenades. They're highly explosive and leave behind a crater. Throw one at those crates. Good job. I'll throw another at the next set of crates. <sighs> Tracking another container near you. I've marked it as an objective on your HUD. Toss a grenade in the window above. Get closer if you need to.
Another weapon, Colonel. That's a Pacific and Bangalore rocket launcher. Test it out on the target I've identified. What do you think? I blew up a shed. Very impressive. All right, then. Why don't you try it on the water tower? Yes, sir. Looks like an Alliance weapon, sir. It's a prototype UGV sticky bomb launcher, the Black Widow. Use it to fire and then detonate up to six adhesive grenades. Take out the support beams on that landing pad. What does your intel say about these? They're spike grenades. They create a column of molten rock and can be used to lift objects. Toss one underneath that grate to make a ramp. Another Pacifican weapon here, sir. It's a Pacifican sniper rifle. Pacificans placed scramblers on those towers across the clearing. I marked them on your HUD. See if you can pick them off. The signal just weakened. Destroy the next one. All right. Ground scans are coming up empty. No sign of Pacificans yet. Spend some time getting used to the weapons we found. When you're ready, meet me at the LZ marked on your HUD. Any intel on what killed those Pacificans in the crater? Sheridan's specialty is advanced weapon systems. That stuff doesn't always work as planned. We'll need to be ready for anything. Stay sharp. General Sheridan! By order of the Alliance Army, General Marcus Kelly commanding, you are hereby relieved. You and the men under your command are ordered to stand down and surrender your weapons immediately. What's it been, Colonel? Five years? Back when we were both generals? How's it feel to be the messenger boy for the same ring knocker that got you promoted? I'm here to take you in, Nathan. Well, then you should have brought more men, Roy. You're not taking me alive. Colonel, you need to clear out. I won't let Sheridan get away. Scramble jets now! See you at the Presidio, sir. 